Well hello booktube, we meet again. Um, my name's Nadine, welcome to another video. Today I'm finally getting around to doing this cosy mystery haul so they can stop looking at me reproachfully from the corner of my bedroom, they can go on shelves and live blissfully for the many many years before I probably end up reading them. So um, there's loads here actually to get through so First of all, I picked up a ton of Agatha Christie books from a local charity shop. So there was these Poirots, in no particular order. I have The Murder on the Links, Third Girl, Peril at End House, Murder in Mesopotamia, Dead Man's Folly and Curtain Poirot's Final Case. Um, so yeah, obviously there are a load missing from the Poirot series. Looking at the back here, so there's 39 Poirot novels. I think I've actually read every Agatha Christie book. Um, I went through a huge phase in my late teens uh, where I just I demolished them one after the other. Uh, because my mum was really into Agatha Christie particularly but just crime fiction in general so yeah I love these books I'm really looking forward to revisiting them all and then um, I've got some more Agatha Christie here so um, The 13 Problems which was a Miss Marple novel and then The Secret of Chimneys And the Weary Mess, the, the Weary, the Mary Westmacott collection, volume one, uh, which consists of Giant's Bread, Unfinished Portrait, and Absent in the Spring. I haven't read these actually, so these are love stories with a jagged edge, apparently. So that will be quite interesting. And then finally, Ordeal by Innocence. Then I also picked up um, Agatha Christie's autobiography and um, sorry, all covered in dust, Agatha Christie's secret notebooks. Uh, 50 years of mysteries in the making includes two unpublished Poirot stories. So I thought that would be really, really interesting to go through. I love reading about writers and um, yeah, to be able to like look through notebooks as well will be really really fun and then uh, another long series of books that i picked up uh, i'll again just run through these quickly <clears throat> so they're by carola dunn and i've got death at wentwater court a daisy dalrymple mystery so these are set in the 1920s i believe i haven't got around to reading any of them yet um, but I'm I'm looking forward to it. So um, Daisy Dalrymple is uh, she was a journalist, and um, she ends up getting embroiled in these mysteries. So, yeah. So death at Wentwater Court, damsel in distress, requiem for a mezzo, to Davy Jones below. The Case of the Murdered Muckraker, Mistletoe and Murder, Die Laughing, A Morning Wedding, Fall of a Philanderer, let's hope it's not who she was marrying in a morning wedding, Gunpowder Plot, the Bloody Tower, The Black Ship, Sheer Folly, Anthem for Doomed Youth, and Gone West. Again, there's a lot more in the series um, that I haven't picked up yet, but I think I'm going to enjoy these. Um, 
and then so I've got some more modern uh, cozies now so whilst I was studying I used this as um, an incentive to make me do work when I really wasn't in the mood to do any and so whenever I hit any particular milestone you know like first draft complete or whatever I could order another book from my list so that way I accumulated quite a lot uh, so the first one then is Double Booked for Death by Ali Brandon. Uh, pretty much all of these are first in, in series. So a black cat bookshop mystery. And then that was on an offer on eBay where it was like buy one and get the other one for however many percent off. So I ordered Another Way to Die, which is book two. And then I had to have this one as soon as I saw the cover because it's just so, so me. It looks so cosy and interesting. And that is A Dark and Stormy Murder by Julia Buckley. And then um, If Walls Could Talk by Juliet Blackwell, A Haunted Home Renovation Mystery. I should choose that one for October, shouldn't I? With it being haunted. And then Krista Davis, The Diva Runs Out of Time. And again, another one, as soon as I saw the cover, it was like, I, I wanted this. Death by Committee by Alexis Morgan. And then Erica Chase, A Killer Read. And that is an Ashton Corner book club mystery. And then this is the second book in a series, um, Pulp Friction, a cider shop mystery by um, Julie Ann Lindsay. I read the first book in this series probably six months ago, something like that. And I, I quite enjoyed it. So I'm interested to see how the series progresses. And then um, a high end finish by Kate Carlisle. Now a Hallmark Movies and Mysteries original, apparently. I've tried looking for this and we don't get it over here in the UK. Or if we do, I haven't been able to find it. Um, but I thought that really appeals to me. I love sort of like house renovation type things. And um, I'm really, really nosy. Look, essentially, I'm really nosy. And I like seeing in people's houses and stuff. So I love stuff like that. I love like houses being done up and like I'm playing house flipper at the moment. It's just... I love stuff like this. So, you know, house renovations and murder, potentially. I am in. And then I got No Farm, No Foul, A farmer daughter, Farmer's Daughter Mystery by Peg Cochran. And finally, another Krista Davis, Murder She Barked, because that title alone, Murder She Barked, yes. Um, so that is it for my cosy mystery haul. Finally, finally they can go and find a home somewhere on my bursting shelves which needs desperately to be redone. Um, but yeah, that is everything today and I will catch you again soon. Goodbye. Hi again guys, quickly, um, just thinking about house type nosiness. Um, I bought a few things at auction for my house and I just wanted to show you and get your opinion because I can't decide. So, um, as some of you may know, I live in an old farmhouse and I saw these bells at auction and like really heavy iron bells to go outside my doorway. So I got this chicken and because I couldn't decide and they were super cheap for what they are, I got this horse. So I'm planning on them being outside my kitchen window, kitchen door, which is the first door visitors come to. Um, but yeah, I, I really can't decide which one to put up. And so I thought I would ask your opinions as well, because um, why not? And then hopefully I can actually get them up and they won't just spend the next six months uh, living in a corner of a room as another unfinished job. I'm really going now, I promise. See you again soon. Bye.